Hi everybody. I hope that you had a really good winter break and that you've had some time to play in the snow. I know I've enjoyed sledding and being outside in the snow. And the story that I have today is about a boy who gets a new pair of mittens. Um, the author is Jan Brett. The story's called The Mitten. And this is the same author who wrote one of the gingerbread stories that I read to you. Um, and I kind of told you something about looking at the pictures. I'm going to show it to you. Um, there's a big picture. And then on either side, there's little pictures that kind of tell you about what's coming up. So I'm going to try to hold the book so you can get a good look at those as you're listening. And we'll see what happens. Here goes. It's called The Mitten. Once, there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first, I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped into the snow and was left behind. Can you see it? A mole tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. So there's our mole burrowing inside, and if you get a peek in this mitten, you'll see who might come next. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his new winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. What do you think a kicker is? I think maybe it's that rabbit's foot. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under the wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. Do you see what's happening to the mitten? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Hmm, I think a glinty talon might be his claws, right? Up through the snow, appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. So there must have been a little room down in the thumb hole. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of steam, warm steam, rose in the air, and a fox, trotting by, stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Can you see Nikki in this mitten? He's off playing in the snow and all of these animals 
are finding warmth in the cozy white mitten. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Can you see the meadow mouse? The bear, tickled by the mouse's whisper, whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. There's the mitten, you can see it floating in the sky. On his way home, Nikki saw the white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the great blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. There she is, she's way inside. First, she checked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. But look at this picture. Baba's looking at the mittens and one still looks just the right size, but she looks kind of puzzled. Do you think she'll know what happened with that other mitten? <laughs>